and then play the crowd. Well, these saxophone and funky bass, same old shell pop and shell thing. You just women like they don't exist. Something in the mind begins to trip. Hey, things you see for all, you stand red, but don't stand tall. And my mother was all a stress and strain and all those prayers to keep you sane. A voice, a voice that come, a voice that puts you in a time of night for you become savage and blind in my life for drug related cops pick up drug related dudes oh, setting them up to be on the drug related dudes young boys, young boys oh, you are not alone the dilemma is real but not your own the streets get your soul and get nothing in return a point of reference should be a point to learn no way to run, no way to hide they become your excuse and then your pride every little rhythm every little beat every little thing become disgraced, deeply wounded and deeply scarred. You take what is left and you turn it hard. You take the night and you make it day. You take the consequences but forget your pain. You take insanity and you make it sane. You take the extreme and feed it your brain. Thoughts are confused and then they come on. Your slipness becomes elegance and then you're God. Deeper and deeper into the dark abyss. Dry by shooting, it never begins to rest. Life becomes useless and carved in stone. The streets know the ending and set the tone. I said it from self, I said it from mine. I said it from happiness, you will never find. Love becomes mystery and then a flash. Misery becomes useless and then a rare piece of mind becomes distant and then far away. Hope becomes a mute but nothing to say. Emotion becomes callous and cold to the touch. He wants to laugh, but it hurts so much. You reach out to be touched, but there's no one there. You fly out to the streets, but they don't care. One morning they find you. One morning they find you with your face in the mud. There are no wounds. There is no blood. But in your eyes is that mystery, and it's time to become known that the streets don't work with anybody, they only work alone. Young boys, young boys, don't make me repeat, the worst thing to do is to die in the streets are calling, the streets are calling, there's always the streets, from shoeshine boys to big time, to trip or tree. You know, the cops say they do their part of killing us, we know that, but what we're doing is ridiculous, you know? I mean, it's silly, it's really silly because we got these different gangs, we have these stripes, and we shoot each other in a heartbeat. That self-hatred thing is still working with us. We got to cut that shit out. We got to, and, and the one thing we have to really do, those of us who are writing, you know, we have to start writing things of what we want to see. We talk so much about the problem. And there's a parade of pathology that Hollywood loves. I love to see you pitiful niggas. They love to see the pain. And they'll give you an award if you're painful enough. Be the help, you get an award. Be Denzel in training day, you get an award. Fuck the shit out of a white man like Halle Berry, you get an award. Those, that's being it's hard out here for a pit. Yeah, right. You'll get an award. Right. All of that will give you an award. They will award you for helping them by demeaning and degrading yourself. I'm going to tell you, I am not, I, 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 I promised myself what we're going to do. I'm, like, I'm at home. I feel very comfortable here. I'm not a Tyler Perry fan, y'all. I'm sorry. The most precious person in our family. You will take my grandmother and make her a drag queen. And, you, and, and it, I, I was in South Carolina about a month ago, and some people said, "Hey, dude, can we take you to the movies?" I said, "What you want? What you want to see? We're gonna go see the deal." I said, "You're going by yourself." I said, "What you want with that?" I said, "What's right with that?" You tell me what's right with that. I mean, I'm gonna see.
say I come in here and see that sick. That's not, that's not healthy. And so what I decided to do, I'm talking to y'all about it. I'm complaining right now, and that's something I said I wouldn't do, but I'm talking about it. But this is what I'm really doing. I am presently writing my very first screenplay, and it's called Undying Love. Because that's what we gotta have for each other. And I, I feel very good about it because I've had the experience. We have had the experience of folks loving us. We always get it everywhere we go. We could be in Germany someplace. My brother would say, I was hoping I need to watch poets. Or could you sign my album, please? Or you, you saved me in Vietnam. Or you did this. We, me and my mom on the way one day, this late pope says, I want, I want to thank y'all for raising my boys. I said, Oh, mom, why are you tell me about this? <laughs> He said, I thought that was you, man. I said, no. I said, what do you, I said, so you gotta explain yourself. He said, well, my son started acting up. I put, I put, my, put a speaker in the room and I locked the door. And then I played last four records. <laughs> <laughs> and when they came out, they acted a lot different. <laughs> and then, you know, I know you know Kane Hurst was groomed by this and that's it. May Hurst and us and uh, Malcolm X records. <laughs> so I guess we served a therapeutic purpose for a lot of people. <laughs>